where practices means uh, the habitual or customary performances or operations of what's dominant. Basically, what that just said was this. Continually, you got to work at it. You notice you got to work at, sin at being sinful? You say being a Christian is hard. Not as hard as it is being a sinner. You think the best thief in the world started off that way? No, he had to practice. He had to go to jail a few times. He had to get caught. He had to get beat up. He had to come this close to being killed before he became the best in the world. I'm serious. You think the best or the most successful drug dealer that just happened overnight? No. He started like every other drug dealer. Started on a corner. Running the cars. Then he moved up to a beeper. <laughs> That's real old, ain't it? Everybody here know what a beeper? Nobody here know? Lord Jesus. Lord have mercy. <laughs> he moved up to a cell phone. Then he went to the internet, Facebook. You know they sell drugs on Facebook. Same process for him. Had to go to jail a few times. Had to get robbed a few times. Might have even had to get shot. But eventually, he learned how to sell drugs. Now here it is, we have the attitude that it's hard to be a Christian because now I got to abstain from pre matter to Oh, that's, that's a hard one. I can't, you know, I can't go hang out with my friends. I can't talk how everybody else is talking. I can't live the way everybody else is living. I can't do what everybody else is doing. So, you mean to tell me that the God that we serve, Jesus Christ, we, we all serve Jesus. Is, is that true? We all believe in Jesus Christ. His finished work, what he done for us. We all believe that, right? If you don't, you're going to have the opportunity to believe, I promise you, before we get out of here. This is the same person that said he rose up with all power. Not some. Not half. He didn't put it on their way. He got it, all power in his hand. This is the same God who has all power. And not, not only does he have all power, but we are in him. He is in us as we are in the Father. So you mean to tell me that, that I can walk around as a Christian and say it's hard to live this life when I, the wages of sin is death and to practice to be the best sinner. It, it requires me to have to lie. It requires me to have to steal. It requires me to have to cheat. It requires me to have to do all these things against God. I, you know what? I would rather choose the better road. I would rather choose not to lie, not to steal, not to cheat, not to get out of character with people because it's a whole lot easier. See, the only reason why it's hard is because you don't truly want to give it up. You don't truly want to give it up. And I know you are in a place where, where the word is going forth and the understanding and the teaching is, 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 is exceptional here. So you're still holding on. It's because there's something in you that you do not want to let go. You still enjoy it. Oh, that's what it is. You can fool somebody on the side of you, but you can't fool me. You got something in you that you really, really enjoy. No, that's not you. That's not you. I'm preaching to me. You got a mirror. I'm preaching to me. There's something on the inside of you 
that you just cannot shake. There's something on the inside of you that you just do not want to let go. I, you just it, it calls you and you crave it and it doesn't matter how many times you say you're not going to do it. You find yourself in the midst of it. And it's causing you to conform. Because you got to understand that a little leaven, just a little bit, just a little bit, don't take much, just a little leaven, leavens the whole lump. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful of the standards of the world. You have to be careful of your attitude. And you have to be careful of the practices of the world. You can't get involved. Today, you need to make a stand that it does not matter what my friends are doing. It does not matter what the neighbors are doing. I'm going to make a stand. I'm going to make a stand for Jesus. I'm going to give Jesus a try. And even more so, this thing that's burdened me on the inside, something that nobody knows about, it might be some peer pressure. It might be something that, that you don't want to discuss, but there is something on the inside of you that's trying to make you conform. You've got on your knees at night, you've prayed, you've cried, you've come to the altar, you've even begged God and asked him, please, Lord, Take this away from me. You've begged him. And it seems like it just does not want to go anywhere. I'm here to encourage you all today. And I'm here to let you know that there is an answer. There's an answer for whatever it is that's on the inside of you. That's trying to cause you to conform to the ways of this world. There's something that's out there, that's for you, and it's looking out for your best interests. I know somebody, and I can introduce you to him. There's somebody that I know, and I know him personally. He went throughout the land. He was healing the sick. He was giving sight to the blind. <laughs> oh, Jesus. There's somebody that I know personally that it does not matter what you're being afflicted with. It does not matter what you're struggling with. He can heal the sick. He can give sight to the blind. He can raise the dead. He can cause people with AIDS to be healed. He can cause people with cancer to be healed. He can cause whatever your ailment is. All you got to do is give him a try. Give him a try. Give him a try. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. And not only is he available just to me, but he's available to you. He's available for you. And the reason why he's available for you is because he does not want you to conform to the world, but he wants you to be what he calls you to be. And that's that royal priesthood, a holy nation, acceptable unto God. And everybody that you meet, he wants you to tell them about the goodness of Jesus. That's why he called you to be a royal, a royal priesthood and a holy nation. Because it's your job as the Christian to tell everybody about Jesus. But it's hard to tell somebody about Jesus when you're struggling yourself. It's hard to tell somebody about Jesus when you got issues of your own. It's hard to tell somebody about Jesus when there's something going on right here. Oh, but today, I'm here to let you know that all of that can be washed away. It can be wiped away and you can open your mouth once again. You can open your mouth once again. Jesus is waiting for you. He's waiting for you. He's waiting for you. Would you stand to your feet? 
Lift your hands all over the room. Now I know that there's somebody in here today who can say, Pastor, that was something for me. I need a newness. I've conformed and I didn't even know it. I've given in and I didn't know it. We don't want to embarrass you, but if you will, if that's you, if you just need another touch from the Lord. If you just need another touch, if some way, if you can just look over your life and say, you know what? I'm really not living the way that I'm supposed to be living. And it's all because there's something that's pulling on me. If that's you, if you need prayer tonight, we're here to pray with you. We're here to pray for you. Jesus is here. And don't be afraid. If you found yourself just slipping, just a little bit that's you the cross made the difference for you made the difference for me if that's you come down we're here to pray with you we're here to pray for you we're here for you